Diwali traditionally is considered the weakest film going day of the year. A lot of people would want to celebrate their Diwali with Tiger 3. Salman Khan is a huge star. He has a huge draw. We believe in Mr. Salman Khan's stardom and we feel that even on the weakest day of the year, we can get additional money into the kitty. The highest collection for a film on Lakshmi Puja Day is 15 crores. Okay. So maybe we are in for a good surprise on Sunday. Newer markets have to be developed. Like there are markets now in Africa which are also releasing the film. And uh, you know, you have these smaller countries in Europe which are now coming up with good numbers. Rohan Malhotra, welcome to CNN News 18. Thank you, sir. Rohan, uh, you are the vice president of the distribution arm of Yashraj Films. You are the brain behind the widest release that Salman Khan's upcoming film Tiger 3 is going to have. Although the film is going to have a 6 a.m. show, but some of the theatres going to play the film for almost 24 hours. I mean, the earliest show is scheduled at 2 a.m. So then please tell us more about uh, this big plan to release uh, Tiger 3. So the reason for opening the film early on on a Sunday, which is on the day of Diwali, is that Diwali traditionally is considered the weakest film going day of the year in terms of because most of the evening and night shows get affected by the Div Lakshmi Puja timings where people prefer to stay with families. We have taken a call and we are the first producers in 12 years to release a film on Diwali with the last one also being our film, Jab Tak Hai Jaan in 2012, to release a film on Lakshmi Puja Day on the basis of the fact that we believe in Tiger 3 as a film. It's a really good film. We believe in Mr. Salman Khan's stardom and we feel that even on the weakest day of the year, we can get additional money into the kitty. As we are breaking convention here, we have also broken convention in terms of show timings and in order to make up for the period of time when collections will be hit due to the puja, we have st we are going to hold early morning shows starting as early as 6, 6 or 5 a.m. and shows beyond 12 p.m. which is at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. in the night, 11.45 p.m. a day before means basically on uh, 12th night to accommodate people after the puja because while we understand that people will be busy with puja a lot of people would want to celebrate their Diwali with Tiger 3 because it's the fifth part of the YRF spy universe there are lots of interesting tidbits in the film and people would not want to wait for spoilers to come out so then what is the reason of releasing the film on a Sunday and not on a Friday so uh, at YRF, we always look at the fact that what works better for the overall business of the film. It is good to follow convention. You do not need to reinvent the wheel when it is pretty much working and we mostly do follow convention. But it is okay at YRF to not follow convention and Mr. Aditya Chopra supports us in that decision making thought process. With Pathan, we broke convention. The film should have released on 26 January, which is a national holiday. We had a guaranteed day one record in our pocket had we released it on 26th. It beautifully would go into the weekend on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, a long four day weekend. We let go of the first day record and came a day earlier on 24th January because one, we believed that Pathan was a very good film. Two, we believe there was enough urgency to watch the film. And three, most importantly, we believed in Mr. Shah Rukh Khan's stardom to pull that film on a non-working day. Sure. That is what made the 500 happen in the end. That extra day which we played. Sure, sure. I was talking to an exhibitor. He said there must be some Mungurat or what is the reason? Because don't you think you must have you're gonna lost some crores uh, for, for not releasing a uh, film on Friday? Do you think so? No, no. So there is there is no Mahura. There is a lot of number crunching. There's a lot of data in play. There is a good experience of releasing Jab Tak Hai Jaan on this day many years ago. There is a case where there is no data now for 12 years. And there is a genuine belief in Tiger as a film. It's a very good film to Mr. Salman Khan's stardom here. And thirdly of the fact that there are enough people who would be interested in celebrating Diwali with Tiger 3 by watching it in cinemas. 
and it's a risk which we have taken but uh, with pathan we learned something it worked well for us we are taking a risk here again by releasing it on the weakest day of the year but we do believe that looking at the advance booking that it would pay off and the film will open to good houses and the next day onwards it should start running havoc when the new year holiday kicks in sure so then what is the target that you have set for the film to achieve on day 1 so uh the target from tw- is basically would be based on data the highest collection for a film on lakshmi puja day is 15 crores uh there is no data after that for 12 years we have a number in our head uh i don't want to say it because obviously it is i never said it in pathan also but we have a number in our head what i can say is the advance booking is really promising surprisingly there are a lot of cinemas which are even going houseful in advance in the puja timings okay. so maybe we are in for a good surprise on sunday congratulations looking forward but you know you're releasing the film on november 11th that's a day in advance in many markets like us uk u uae europe you yeah, salman khan is, is has has fans across the world how has been the response in these markets for tiger 3 for us uh, this is our fourth salman khan film the earlier three have been blockbusters ek tha tiger sultan and tiger zinda hai there was no market which sort of did better than the other i think the every market did huge numbers with huge potential this is again a spy universe film which is the fifth part of a franchise salman khan is a huge star he has a huge draw and we are not releasing the film a day in advance overseas we are releasing it as 9 pm india standard time so some in australia it's still on the 12th some countries you might have and have end, end up having one or two shows in some countries like the us you might almost have the full day so it is staggered it's basically a preview which we are holding in certain market because there is no effect of pre diwali in those markets and so normal weekend over there so it's going to play out in that way but i expect the film to have a rocking run overseas as well across markets i do not see means basically with the spy universe film and with the tiger series is generally pretty much been good all across which are the new territories where you will be releasing tiger 3 for the first time so generally i think so because we just had uh, pathan this year at the start of the year then in international markets we released jawan as well now we have tiger 3 and now we have yrf will also be releasing donkey in international markets and similarly so i think so what happened with pathan is pretty much now being followed for all films where wherever that film ended up opening and releasing in those market for because yrf is the distributor we are pretty much following the similar template for this newer markets have to be developed it doesn't happen overnight so i think so we are in most markets some of them are in a nascent stage which are still being developed right. and so um, it's basically like there are markets now in africa which are also releasing the film and uh, you know you have these smaller countries in europe which are now coming up with good numbers so as they will keep developing and getting better and better i think so the business of indian films will keep going up now we have an imax version which is playing worldwide even in you know the smallest of european countries in australia when so that's a really big deal for indian cinema So, so apart from Hindi version of Tiger Three, you will be releasing the film with English subtitles in Karnataka, in Tamil Nadu, in Kerala, and Pondicherry and Andhra Pradesh, along with Tamil and Telugu dub version. Yeah, it's really a big deal. When did you start the work on Tamil and Tel Telugu version of, of Tiger Three? Like, so basically, this English subtitle, YRF has been doing it for all their films since Sultan. because we had requ- we received request from exhibitors that some dialogue sometimes get lost in uh, you know the audiences prefer to have an english subtitle there so cinemas in southern india were requesting us for that so we decided to go with what the exhibitors requested us in terms of the dubbed versions obviously we have been working on them for some time 
it is about making the film accessible so if you want to watch the hindi version it's good if you want to watch the dubbed version if that is the language of your choice you can do that as well uh, as long as people end up watching the film in a manner which is most convenient to them and which they are most comfortable with when do you think uh, we'll be ready as an industry to release a film with uh, with subtitles and with a dub version across the world like hollywood do so we have subtitles in various international languages which is playing across countries i think so with dubbed versions it's pretty much at this point what we have basically seen as an industry standard is that once a film breaks out and does huge business that is the time you end up dubbing it into various non traditional languages and taking it abroad like we've seen a film like hitchki which was a small film for us but it turned out to be a box office monster in china when we did release the film it did some i don't in excess of 20 million dollars just in china alone so eventually content is king if we keep making good content and we keep the audience hooked on to it so i think so we'll be in a good space and keep west will seek out our movies even more so the taylor swift era movie was dominating american box office in october along with other horror film called five nights at freddy yeah that did incredibly well yeah but the brie larson star of the marvel which also stars uh, jude law will be releasing on november 10th that just a day before tiger 3 release do you think tiger 3 will outdo other releases in the west especially in america so i think so with tiger 3 the advances are really good even in the states and the film is going to get a really good release i think so at this point when we are 3 days out of away from release we are just happy that the film is good as per us and once the audience watches it gauges it and i think so if the film is good then who can say anything in today's day and age so we are about to find out at how far and wide a film can go honestly well hope your tiger 3 will roar in the box office and you have a cracker for diwali thank Absolutely. you for your time and best of luck <laughs>